He displayed such potential that Tom Crouch purchased a one-fourth interest in the no-nukes Colt for a reported $3 million before his sophomore season got underway. After winning 15 starts as a two-year-old, Jake Lobel made it 18 in a row by taking his first three outings of 1987, all in New Jersey Sire Stakes. Number 18 was accomplished by four and three-quarter lengths in 154 and three. Jake Lobel never had an anxious moment, and Jake does it again, 18 in a row. Jade Lobel put his 18-race winning streak on the line against Run the Table in the $200,000 New Jersey Sire Stake Championship a week later. And the battle produced the fastest race of the year. When the duel was over, one minute and 51 seconds later, the landslide colt Run the Table had pinned the first loss on Jade Lobel. Jake Lobel is put to the test at the top of the lane. Run the table, taking it to him, and run the table has taken the lead with an eighth of a mile to come. Jake Lobel, he won 18 in a row, and he's trying to come back, but it is run the table in front. Jake Lobel looking defeated with 100 yards to go. It has run the table, and he has won it. Jake Lobel's second best tonight. But Jake Lobel would bounce back to avenge that setback in the half-million-dollar New Jersey Classic two weeks later. His six-and-a-half-length victory in 151-2 and two shattered the stakes record by more than two seconds. Here is an amazing performance. Jake Lobel going on to win it. Mark O'Meara urging him on. Another rich victory for Jake Lobel came the following month at Greenwood in the $1 million North America Cup, the richest race ever contested in Canada. But he had to hold off a determined charge by a new challenger, Frugal Gourmet. Jake Lobel leads the way home. Frugal Gourmet out of the pocket. Here he comes. Rare Review is there. Jake Lobel under urging. Frugal Gourmet is powering up on the outside. Rare Review is third. Jake Lobel, Frugal Gourmet is getting to him. Frugal Gourmet and Jake Lobel. After a half in 55 flat, Jake Lobel will prevail by a nose in 152 and 3 a national season's record, and an all-age Canadian record. This narrow victory in Canada's first million-dollar race also pushed Jake Lobel over the million-dollar mark in career earnings. But Jake wasn't finished setting records. He lowered the track record at Sportsman's to 153, while winning the nearly $354,000 American National. And back in Canada, he equaled the all-age track record at Flamborough Downs with this 154-1 victory in the $151,000 final of the Confederation Cup. The time also equaled the fastest mile ever in Canada over a half-mile track. It's all Jake Lobel, Cup 11 champion now. It's just a question how fast Jake Lobel surging to the finish. Jake Lobel won 15 of 25 starts during his three-year-old campaign and was the leading money winner of the season with earnings of $1,645,000. He retired to stud at Kentuckiana Farm in Kentucky with career totals of 25 wins from 40 outings and a bankroll of more than $2.2 million.